So I thought today I was going to be doing an unboxing, but it's more of an unbagging, which is always a little bit of a bummer when you order something, or a mask in particular, and it comes in a bag. So I'm going to preface this by saying when it comes to, like, vintage Halloween masks, I'm a complete noob at, like, knowing all the history behind stuff and, uh... Yeah, all that. I have a friend who's really into this stuff, who knows a lot of it, but there's a very good chance I'm going to get details on this wrong, and just about a week ago I proved that I really need to be more careful when ordering stuff off eBay, because I got a mask that was uh, in terrible shape. But, we'll see how this one goes. So I'm already kind of wondering if this is not exactly what I thought it was going to be. But let me throw it on this uh, head here and we'll get a better look. So this guy definitely needs to be stuffed to get his shape back. Which is kind of why I was upset that it came in an envelope. Because uh, the listing on eBay it looked decent but it was definitely a little misshapen. And uh, they didn't do anything to help that for sure by sending it in an envelope. But whatever. So this is Don Post. Tor Johnson mask, which is kind of an old school classic Halloween mask. The reason I'm less sure of it is because I thought these masks, at least the older copies, were supposed to be vinyl. It is marked on the side there, Dompo Studios 77. I mean, all that means, I guess, is that it came out of the mold from 1977. It doesn't necessarily guarantee the mask was made in 1977. I wanted to clarify what I was kind of starting to say in the video and then kind of failed to follow through on, is that uh, the reason I kind of i am not sure if this is an actual old mask is because, A, it's in really nice shape for what it is. It's very clean. It's disfigured or deformed a little bit, but, like... Everything on it seems really good. And I know one of the benefits of vinyl masks is they don't rot. Looking at this thing, like, it's pretty thick. Whatever it's made out of, it's pretty thick. And, you know, it feels very similar to a latex mask to the touch. But it has a little bit different of a feel, which could mean it's vinyl. I just don't have enough experience to know for sure if that is a vinyl copy. The majority of vinyl masks I own are, like, these Cesar masks which are super thin. There's not a whole lot to them at all. And this is probably the one of the nicer of the group. Like, you know, this thing is paper thin. And looking at it, I'm like, well, it's not that crappy thin vinyl, but it's a completely different company. And I think this thing is vinyl. This is the Tots uh, Brute, but I believe these are just straight from Rudel, who made them originally. And this feels significantly more like the Tor Johnson, but I wasn't thinking of this when I was unboxing it. It might just be that the vinyl masks I'm used to are crummy vinyl masks. And the nicer ones might actually be more like what I'm actually seeing with the Tor. Man, it's just so misshapen. It's driving me nuts. The main reason I wanted this is because this thing shows up in two of the Halloween movies, at least that I remember. Um, it shows up in Halloween 3 at the Silver Shamrock factory. So, in theory, I mean, those original Skull Witch and Pumpkin Masks, those were Don Post masks that got repurposed for that movie. And, in theory, this would have been another Silver Shamrock mask. Don't know why they were making masks that were not the main three, because, uh, you know, was there going to be a Halloween the next year? I kind of doubt it. But this was in the factory. This was one of the other models that they had. Or maybe it was just something they had previous years that wasn't uh, Stonehenge and Fuse. I'm not sure. And then it also showed up, I believe two of these showed up in the Vincent drug scene in Halloween 4. And that's actually what made me kind of get interested in getting this. I, I was kind of wanting to pick up some of the different items from Vincent Drug just to make my own little tiny display. I have a Michael Myers mask that has a hang tag on it that looks kind of like the one that, you know, you see him grab off of the shelf at the store. You know, some of that stuff's a little harder to get that's in that scene. Some of it's not that hard to get like this. There's a bunch of masks of uh, the Tor Johnson in various states of... Uh, quality on ebay it seems like all the time for roughly around the same price uh for any of them it seems except for like really really pristine looking copies but like i said i don't if this thing isn't vintage i don't care too much uh it looks so clean and such decent shape i'm inclined to think it's not but still a cool looking mask i think once i get it 
stuffed and shaped a little better. It'll have a cool effect, especially when I get everything else on display with it. I just realized I stopped the video without really ending it, and I didn't really have anything else to say, but uh, this is that other mask I was talking about. It's uh, HHP uh, Part 4. His hair is a mess right now, but um, he does have the Vincent Drug hang tag on it. So, um, yeah, once I get this display going, the idea would be to you know, take this thing off of its head. I don't know, maybe punch a real hole in the top of this, like a, you know, a retail hole. I probably have to reinforce it because this isn't very thick. Uh, it's just like cardstock, not cardboard. But then, yeah, I just kind of have this uh, hanging up on a shelf. Tour by them, have uh, a couple other masks and some other uh, Halloween decoration kind of things with that vintage feel. I think it would make a pretty nice display. So, don't know how long this project's going to take. Um, but uh, it's going to be something to work on for a little bit here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.